So did you know that Santa Monica had a great park at one time? Uh, and that park was um, our forgotten park that people don't know about. So here's the forgotten story of our uh, great park. Uh, in the 20s, the land originally, the Tongva people, um, the colonial Spanish came, took the land, subdivided that land. They became um, ranchos that eventually the Americans came. They subdivided it. It became part of the, I think, the land transfer to the Machado family. And then eventually to, I should know this, but I can't think of their names. It will come to me. Uh, as the land was beginning to subdivide. And in the 20s, Santa Monica was growing. Uh, they planned for our future park needs and civic leaders proposed to purchase Clover Field because of its jobs with the um, Douglas factory that was developing at the time to support the growth there and to provide recreation. So it had a kind of dual uh, purpose. Uh, and this is a full page ad that um, civic leaders took out in advance of the ballot initiative to purchase the property. Uh, and it says there is perhaps no city in the West that needs a recreation park more than Santa Monica. And in the editorial, uh, it said there's an opportunity for our young people to go out there and play golf, baseball, use the tennis courts, or do any one of the dozen things that will be there. Is it not better to send them into God's great outdoors filled with sunshine than allow the devil to find mischief with their idle hands? So it really speaks to the, the time there. Uh, the ballot initiative passed in 1926. We purchased uh, that property, um, um, I believe, for $800,000 for the purpose of a public park. Uh, it's interesting to note that uh, there was a statue in California specifically for Santa Monica that said any land purchased for a park shall forever remain the use of the public. Uh, so when people purchased that land, they expected it to be a park in perpetuity. Uh, and this is what the park looked like. It was located at Sentinella and Central Avenue, which is Ocean Park Boulevard uh, today. Uh, and it consisted of playgrounds, tennis courts, playing fields, horseshoe, lawn bowling, archery range, shooting range, a recreation center, 18-hole golf course, and the airfield. So a lot of things going on there. This was our great park. It was our biggest park that we've ever had. Uh, this is a 1928 aerial view. Uh, and everything in green is the active recreation area. What's in brown is the um, uh, airfield and runway. Uh, this is a Thomas guide for those of you who know what that is, uh, showing the division of the land of uh, the airport area and the park area. Uh, here's a detail from a USGS map uh, from 1934 showing the tennis courts, clubhouse, archery range, pistol range, and golf course. Uh, here's another aerial view that shows the division of those spaces at Clover Field Park. And so this was a big deal. When it opened, they called it Clover Field Day, and they had all sorts of events and activities for people to take part in. Uh, and it was considered, according to the newspaper a year later, uh, the brightest jewel in Santa Monica's crown. And Clover Field was a mecca for lovers of all sports pursuits every weekend. And the park proved so immediately important that LA County had plans to expand it 900 acres. And that would have been uh, the area from Walgrove to Sepulveda and Venice Boulevard to the edge of Cloverfield uh, Park. And so here's Cloverfield Park, here is the uh, uh, runway, and it would have been a massive, amazing, amazing, amazing park. Imagine a thousand acre park. Uh, alas, uh, the park project did not proceed because of the stock market crash, and at that point it was not buildable. Uh, but we still had our great park, and it had a PGA uh, golf course. They had two PGA tournaments there, uh, and it became part of the civic life in Santa Monica uh, to use all the amenities. Uh, here's an advertisement for Robinson's department store in Santa Monica touting things you could buy there. Sunset Park was advertised specifically for uh, Clover Park. Uh, and it had the golf course recreation park now being constructed nearby. The values were going to rise. You could buy a property, uh, a, a plot of land for $2,000. Uh, and all sorts of things happened there. One of the most interesting things I discovered is that there were interracial ball games between black teams in Venice and the white segregated teams in Santa Monica. And it was the mysteries of Santa Monica playing uh, the color giants in Venice. Uh, so pretty fascinating bit of information and history there. 
Uh, here's a tourist map showing the multiple uh, golf course, the golf course, tennis court, skeet shooting, and archery range, and an article saying the parks are the greatest assets, and the greatest park uh, is located in Clover Field. Uh, this is Halloween, so 100 years ago almost, um, um, 90 years ago, uh, people were playing in the playground with pumpkins. Here's the tennis courts, there's the golf course in the background. Uh, and this is Carol Lombard, the actress, practicing for her movie Made for Each Other at the shooting range at Cloverfield Park. This was published in Life magazine. The photographer was Albert I, 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 Al, Alfred Eisenstadt. Uh, and Life magazine was the number one largest uh, publication in the world at the time. So all was good until the, um, the World War broke out in 1941. U.S. government took control of our only great park. Uh, by 1945, they bulldozed the park and they moved the runway uh, from its original location to the location where the park was. So the original location of the airfield is where the business park is today. And the airport today, uh, most of it is on the location of the great park and then they demolished some houses uh, at the uh, Western end. Uh, so how did it impact our, our park space? Well, very quickly, uh, it decimated our park space in town. Uh, today, we're left with only 1.4 acres per thousand residents and only two and a half um, percent of our land. So that's the story of our great park. Uh, and thank you very much.